What is going on, Nav Nation, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon News, your number one resource for all of the new releases and all the newest information concerning the Pokemon TCG. And today is no shortage of new information and new releases. We've got new cards, we've got new products, and we even have new sets that have been revealed. So sit back, guys. We are going to have a lot of fun. And speaking of the products that you see here today, if you guys are ever interested in being able to pick these products up at the cheapest prices anywhere on the market then check out the link down below for our new business venture pokey realm that is a membership based program where with that membership you are able to get a lot of the products that you're going to see here today at the cheapest market price so be sure to follow that link down below if you guys are interested and other than that let's go ahead and jump right into today's top stories and kicking things off here today, we are on our trusted source, as always, Pokey Beach. And the first article that we have is that the English promos have been revealed for both the August uh, Trainer Toolkit set as well as the Ice Slash Shadow Rider Calyrex V-Boxes. These are two new products that we'll be releasing in August alongside the Marnie Premium Tournament Collection Box, which we will get to that here shortly. But really cool here, these Trainer Toolkits have been very, very popular in the past. Here is a larger image for you guys to check out. And here's some of the promos that you can expect to see in the trainer's toolkit now this one has been revealed here before that is the sabrina and bryson uh trainer supporter card really cool to see that here sabrina obviously one of the og gym leaders from the kanto region so really happy to see her back in here as well as the crobat v crobat v has been getting a lot of notice in a lot of recent sets so it's cool to see him back in here as well and then just scrolling down here, we also have, as I said, the Calyrex V-Box as well. Now, these are all set to release, I believe, um, on August uh, 6th. On August 6th is when you can expect to see these various products released alongside the Marnie Premium Tournament Collection Box. So here's that uh, Calyrex V-Box. This is the Ice Rider Calyrex. And as you can see, you got the jumbo card in there as well as the promo. And there is the uh, the smaller promo. You'll also get that again in a jumbo size version. And there we've got the Shadow Rider Calyrex. They make sure to cram as many versions of Ice Rider and Shadow Rider in Chilling Rain as possible. So if you didn't get your fill with Chilling Rain, you can go ahead and get it with the Calyrex V boxes as well. So there you go, guys. We've got some promos that have been released for both of these products. Again, these will be releasing on August 6th, and these will be alongside the Marnie Premium Tournament Collection Box. And since we're on the subject, let's go ahead and jump right into our next article because that all has to do with the Marnie Tournament Collection Box. You guys are super excited about this particular product, and I get requests all the time from people in the community asking me, PokéNav, how many of these are you going to have? And the, that's the real question, right, is how many of these we can get. And this is one of the big reasons why everyone is so excited about these. Poke Beach just posted this here of the photos of the promos and the goodies that are in the Marnie box. So here is the product itself. This is, a lot of people have referred to it as the Milk Carton Marnie box, which it does, you know, that's a, that's a proper name for it because it definitely looks like that. So there's the product itself, and here's some of the promos that you can expect to see inside. What I love about this, you've got the Marnie Trainer Supporter uh, card itself, and then you also have her autograph on it. I think that's really cool. This is the autograph of Marnie, which uh, I don't even know if it looks so much like an autograph, more like graffiti if you ask me. But hey, nonetheless, still really cool. So it'll have that in there. Now we have the full art trainer supporter of Marnie, which will be featured in here as well. People have absolutely loved full art trainer cards for a while now, and you can expect that this Marnie is going to be no exception. Now on top of that, on top of those cards, we also have some really awesome packs that are gonna be in here as well. Looks like you're gonna get two Chilling Rain packs, uh, or excuse me, three Chilling Rain packs, two Battle Styles, one Vivid Voltage, and one Darkness Ablaze. Now these babies right here, I am really excited about. Anytime we can throw in some Vivid Voltage, I you know wasn't the biggest fan of Darkness Ablaze, but it's also really cool to see Pokemon going back a little bit, especially in these sets that you really don't see that often anymore, including these packs in the Marnie box. So really cool to see that. Here you've got the deck box. Again, the aesthetics, the artwork on all of these is really fantastic. 
Uh, love to see it. We've got the sleeves. We also got the dice. You, you can't forget about the dice and the coin. I mean, that, that's really what makes it, right? That's really what you guys are wanting in here. I know it. And then here's the back of the box, you know, all of the description of what you can expect in here. You know, these type of things are really great for people who are starting out in the competitive arena of the Pokemon TCG. Great way to kind of build that deck and, and really get started in, uh, in, in, that, in that arena. Now, that's something I haven't ventured into myself, but hey, this may be, this may be the catalyst for me. This may be the product. So again, just to wrap things up here or to kind of give you a synopsis of the Marnie box, it comes with three foil promos of Marnie featuring her signature over the artwork, a full art supporter of Marnie, seven booster packs, a Marnie deck box, coin, a set of 65 Marnie card sleeves, two condition marker coins, and six damage counter dice. As posted before, it will retail for $39.99. Retail. And that will be on August 6th, again, right alongside the Calyrex V-Box, as well as the Trainer's Toolkit. Now, again, Poke Realm members, hey, you guys are probably smiling when you see that retail price, because you know it's going to be lower than that. Um, so, just a few other things they talked about here. You know, Pokemon, I don't know, maybe they're going a little bit more economical, a little more eco-friendly in their designs. But it looks like this product's packaging marks a shift from plastic to cardboard. So, hey, you know, big, big shout out to Pokemon looking out for the environment. The other thing that I love about this, the Marnie box is kind of uh, one of several of these collection boxes that are being released in Japan of other trainers. And it uh, looks like at this point, the only one that we're getting over in English or the rest of the world is the Marnie box. But I would definitely be looking out for the Japanese versions of these other uh, trainer boxes um, that will be exclusive to Japan. Probably a great little investment piece and uh, also one that would probably be nice to have for your collection as well. All right, so moving on to our next big news story here. We've been talking about it for some time, celebrations, both in English and Japan. Well, guess what, guys? That golden box, we've got more information now. We've got the photos of the 25th anniversary golden box, and these were displayed at the Japan Championships 2021 tournament. So let's just go ahead and run through these photos. This is the first time that we've actually seen uh, official photos, or, or at least out in the wild, photos of this golden box. So here is the outside. Hopefully you guys can see this in it, uh, a little bit in large version. Here you got some of the stuff on the inside. You've got the gold Pokeball, the gold Pikachu V. You've got the gold deck box there, the gold coins. It's all gold. I love gold. You guys, if you guys can tell me down in the comments what movie is that from, uh, there might be a little reward for you. And there we go. We've got the uh, the gold cards, a little bit uh, clearer version or a little clearer picture there for you guys to see. Really, really cool. I'm, I'm super excited about this golden box. I think it's going to be an, a fantastic collector's piece. And there you've got the play mat. I mean, you, you can't be a great competitive player, you know, because you're going to come in with that gold jacket. you got to have your gold play mat alongside it. So there that is. Uh, there's the gold deck box. We've got the gold dice. I mean, it's just everything in here is just 24 karat gold. Well, maybe not 24 karat, but you, you know what I'm talking about. This is, this is high-end merchandise we're talking about here. So there you go, guys. There's a little bit uh, better synopsis of everything that it will be featured in this golden box, everything that you can expect. And again, I am super, super excited about this. Here's some of the other cards uh, that will be featured for the 25th anniversary over in uh, Japan. Uh, we will get the Gold Pikachu V and Pokeball in the Ultra Premium Collection, and that will release on October 22nd. And uh, this golden box will also be on October 22nd over in Japan, 17,600 yen. You guys do the currency exchange on that. Let me know what that comes out to in, uh, in U.S. dollars or, or, or maybe in, uh, in uh, Canadian currency as well. You guys let me know. Or even for uh, my, my German fans out there, you guys go ahead and let me know what 17,600 yen looks like in uh, Deutschmarks. You guys let me know. But yeah, guys, that is everything that you can expect for the Golden Box. Really cool. Uh, again, super excited about it. Can't wait. Going to be a great collector's piece. It's just going to be a matter of if you can get your hands on this particular box. I imagine it's going to be something like 
the EV Heroes box, the Evolution set. I imagine it's going to be very, very difficult to come by, and it's probably going to come at a very high price point. So if you can get your hands on it, I think you've got a great piece on your hands. Uh, but just keep a lookout. You know, for months to come, these may start to circulate back onto the market a little bit more. All right, so I told you guys we got new cards, we got new products, but we also have new sets that have been revealed. Pokey Beach reports new TCG trademarks have been filed, Battle Legion and Star Birth. As they report, two new trademarks have been filed by Pokemon Battle Legion and Star Birth. They are under the same application terms as previous TCG trademarks. This is really all we know at this point, but, t but uh, Pokey Beach has always done a really great job of, uh, of releasing or revealing these new trademarks that are being filed. And typically what we see with these is that they're discovered about five to six months in advance. So these should release uh, this winter, which should place them around the release of Pokemon Legends Arceus. That would be a great time to have these sets releasing. And if it's something around um, you know, Diamond and Pearl era, something to relate to that, something to relate to the game, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, um, you know, Fire Red, Leaf Green, something like that. You can bet that your boy Pokenav is going to be very, very excited about that because I love those older sets that really uh, collaborated or corresponded to those game remakes. The only trademarks we haven't seen revealed yet are VMAX Climax. What a name, right? What a name. And V Star, perhaps V Star will be a new card mechanic in Star Birth. Now, this is all just speculation at this point. This is really the only information that we have on Battle Legion and Star Birth, as well as V Max Climax and V Star. But uh, I imagine we should be getting more information here very, very soon, especially after we get through the 25th anniversary uh, celebration in October. I imagine a lot more information will start coming about about these new trademarks as well as the possibility of new mechanics. And to wrap things up for today's episode of the Pokemon News, we are going to end things with a newly revealed product that we'll be releasing in October, and that is the V Battle Decks featuring Rayquaza V and Noivern V, and again, those will be releasing this October. The next set of V Battle Decks will feature alternate art promos of Rayquaza V and Noivern V. Both are originally from Evolving Skies. Now, you know, for me personally, I've never really been big on these, these V Battle Decks or really the battle decks in general but i do like the fact that you've got what well, noivern we haven't seen him for a while and then obviously rayquaza that's the, to me that's big now you can get these individually or you can get them in this bundle package here and again this is a great way if you're looking to break in to the competitive arena of the Pokemon TCG. These battle decks are actually pretty good. From everything that I've heard from other members who are competitive players, these are actually a nice little segue or, or a, uh, an entry point into the competitive arena. So gotta give them credit where they are due. Each 60 card deck will release on October 8th for $14.99. They will come with a playmat, damage counters, a large metallic coin, a deck box, guides, and a Pokemon TCGO online code cards. A bundle package will also be available, which we showed you here. For $29.99, it will come with eight additional trainer cards, two of which will be hollow. So there you go. That's pretty cool. So here's some of the cards uh, that you can expect here. Again, we've got the Rayquaza, which I really love. Uh, looks like a Rapid Strike Rayquaza. The other one that we have here is uh, also a Rapid Strike Rayquaza V. So pretty cool. And then obviously the Noivern V as well. A little bit larger images for you. Now the sets that these are actually coming from, it looks like Rayquaza V's artwork is from a promo in Japan that was released during the Dragon Pokemon V Get Challenge uh, back in uh, earlier in July, rather, uh, where you'd get a promo booster pack containing one of five cards for every 10 booster packs of Skystream and Towering Perfection purchased. As of Battle Styles, traditional theme decks have been replaced by these new V Battle decks. They release quarterly, uh, which theme decks used to do with each set. So it looks like that's what we're going with now is that these V Battle decks have taken place of the theme decks. I mean, I have to say though, you know, back in the day, I loved the theme decks. The old Wizards of the Coast theme decks, those, uh, 
to me, and it's one of the collection pieces that I'm really looking to get. So perhaps later on down the road, these V battle decks may be even more of an investment or even a collector's piece. Uh, but right now, it's uh, it's a great entry point, as I said, for those of you looking to get into the competitive scene of the Pokemon TCG. So that is going to do it for today, Nav Nation. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon News. And each week, I'm going to try to bring you guys more of these episodes so that we can keep you up to date with everything going on in the world of Pokemon cards. And you can get all of this in just one bite-sized video. Other than that, guys, I will see you all next time. My name is PokeNav. I'm here to help you navigate the world of Pokemon one video at a time. And I will see you all in the next video.